Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the build control policy in Odoo 17. A build control policy is a guideline that determines when and how a vendor is built for goods or services. It is commonly used in the context of purchase order where it dedicates a timing and quantity basis for creating the invoices. So there are typically two main options for build control policies. So the one is ordered quantities and this policy generates a bill for the entire order quantity as soon as the purchase order is confirmed. This approach simplifies the billing process but may result in paying for goods that haven't been received yet. The other one is received quantity. This policy generates a bill only after the portions or all of the ordered goods have been received. This approach ensures that the payment is only made for the items that have been delivered but can lead to more complex invoicing and potential delays in the payment. So let's see how can we manage the bill control policy in Odoo 17. So let's get into the purchase module first. Um, and in the purchase module, we can set the bill control policy. So in the configuration setting under the invoicing section, you can find the bill, bill control policies that is the ordered quantity and re received quantity. So as we have just said, the default uh, bill control policy as received quantity. So whenever you try to create a new product, the default bill control policy for the product will be received quantity. Here we will be considering two products right now. Uh, which is uh, cheeseburger and the other one is Pepsi. So let's move on to the cheeseburger. Under the purchase uh, tab, you can find that here we can just manage the control policies of the bill, such as received quantity and ordered quantity. So for the time being, uh, cheeseburger will have a bill control policy on received quantities and um, the Pepsi will have a bill control policy of ordered quantity. So under the purchase tab, you can find that we have just set the bill control policy of Pepsi as ordered quantity. Now let's create RFQ for these products. So let's create a new RFQ for the product Pepsi. So I'm going to choose the vendor as Azure Interior because no, uh, because we know that Azure is uh, a loyal vendor who always gives the product um, with um, high quality. So I'm going to choose Pepsi over here and we know Pepsi has the bill control policy as received quantity. So as we just confirmed, um, sorry, uh, it has a, a bill control policy of ordered quantity. So now let's confirm the order. So as I confirm the order, I can here create a bill for the product even without receiving the item in the store. So let's confirm the order. And here we have to just provide the bill uh, or refund date, which is um, required in the document so here we can just provide that and we can just make the payment even without receiving the product in the stock so you can just uh, register the payment and create the payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank now we can just receive the item to the um yeah uh, stock so click on receive product so that we can just validate uh, and as of the validation the product will be placed in the uh, stock now let's consider uh, another RFQ with the invoicing policy, I mean the bill control policy as received quantity. So here we are just going to create a new uh, RFQ with Winter Abigail Peterson where we can choose a product as a uh, cheeseburger. So it will be having the control policy as received quantity. So here you can set the quantity that you need to receive. So um, I'm going to just confirm the order and you can see that the RFQ has just turned into the purchase order. But uh, as we said, the bill control policy based on received quantity. When you just try to create a new bill, here you can see that we cannot uh, we cannot create the bill because we have just set the um, bill creation or the control policy based on received quantity. So you will get a result uh, with a message like invalid operation because there is nothing in the invoiceable line and if the product uh, has a control policy based on received quantity first we need to ensure that we have received the item into the stock then only we can just create the bill so first we need to just close this and uh, we need to receive the item into the stock so let's uh, receive the product into the stock and for that you can just click on validate validate so that 
or the product is now is placed in the stock now we can just create a bill for this because we have just received the item to the stock so here we need to set the bill date which is mandatory field because we need to find the bill date in the document so now let's confirm and click on register payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank now we also need to find the priority of the bill control policy so let me create a new rfq with the vendor um azure interior or let it be anita oliver and here i'm going to choose a product which is pepsi as well as cheese burger and we know both product has different bill control policy but we need to make sure the priority of these uh, product with the bill control policy. Now let's save this and let's uh, confirm the RFQ and let's try to create the bill. So as we just click on the create bill, we can see that the bill creation will be only done for the product Pepsi because we know the uh, Pepsi has the uh, bill control policy as ordered quantity so the priority will be always for the bill control policy with ordered quantity now let's confirm and uh, let's receive the item uh, I mean just create the bill by setting the bill date and you can just confirm that and after reconciliation uh, the payment will be moving to the bank and here you can see that now let's move on uh, to the um, yeah uh, I mean uh, the RFQ that we were dealing and uh, uh, first we need to receive the item into the stock in order to just create the bill for the cheeseburger. So let's validate it and you can see that we have just received the item. Now we can just create a bill. So let's click on create bill and here you would be able to find that we have just received the item into the stock and um, now we can just create the bill. So we need to set the bill date. So let me set that. And afterwards, you can just confirm the order and make the payment. And after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. So this is how we manage with the bill control policy in Odoo uh, 17. And we know bill control policy is used in case of purchase order. So I hope this video clarifies how to use bill control policy in Odoo 17. And if you want Odoo customization or tutorials regarding Odoo, feel free to contact Cybrosis. Thank you for watching the video.